Okay. Uh, when you use uh, amino acids, you condition your system. And it's very much you condition it to um, air compounds or atmospheric compounds of this planet. Please understand why you're using most of the amino acids you use or you might use it has to have a preferral what is it preferred to and why Hello, Mr. Cash. I think we lost something. We yeah, lost. we are back again. We are okay. back online. We're just trying to use almonds while we were knocked out of the system. So, what you have to understand gradually why you use the amino acid or why you use the plasma of the GANS. You have to start educating yourself the reason why and how, and in so many ways, what advantages do you have in doing so? For certain developments, the amino acid is good. For certain developments, you don't need this uh, amino acid. For certain cases, you're better off with the use of the GANS within a container. In certain cases, you're better off for the use of the liquid plasma of the GANS. Just because you produce it, does not mean you can use it anywhere. Most probably if you use it somewhere and it'll be beneficial, so, so it works. It worked for you because of the, the point what you used it for, but with the way you produced it. And this is one of the... Um, one of the problems with the application of this technology. You have to be educated in what you really want to do with it. Just because I have a GANS of uh, zinc oxide, and then I have the amino acid of zinc oxide, does not mean I can use both of them at the same time, or one of them in one place or the other. You got to understand, the GANS of the amino acid is a very powerful tool. It's literally, is the GANS you have at the bottom, we tell you not to use. Some people use the GANS for feeding, and say, I don't eat anything, but I just take a touch of the amino acid of the GANS. This is exactly what we said, it should not be done. You got to understand, what you are using for, and the purpose of the use. Is it for energy transfer? Is it for elevation of a certain condition? If you know a disease which is based on whatever, and then you can produce the GANS of its amino acid, and then use the water of it, liquid water of it, it has a huge potential advantage. The problem is, Keshe Foundation supporters have not understood the power of this material sitting on the top. A GANS, a liquid GANS amino acid, or the amino acid um, of any material on top, is more powerful than the GANSes you made at the bottom. But you have always ignored it. Because you have to understand that amino acid has a connection with the uh, a structure which is sitting underneath. If you make amino acid with uh, sodium or with magnesium salt, it's totally different. But if you have a problem with a certain disease in a certain point, which magnesium salt is backbone of its operation, it's the best thing you can use it for. But, so you have to use and look for it. If you have a cartilage damage, in a very extensive way, the, if you make a CO2, and if you make a zinc oxide, using magnesium salt, 
that amino acid can increase the production of the cartilage in a very rapid way. Because carries the information transfer. You got to understand the purpose of the cartilage. Why do we have a cartilage? How cartilage come to be in operation in the body of the man? Not just do it because he says so. These are the knowledges which we have gained over years and then you just come in and you think and run and we do it. And then it says, oh this happened or that happened. Why do we use the amino acid of magnesium salt with the zinc and a copper produced ganses in that, uh, in that condition? If you look, bone is a matter state, Gans condition, solidified, with a higher intensity towards hydrogen. If you understand what that means. On the other hand, you have the flesh, which is the red meat, which is your muscle tissue, which has the inclination to the matter state with amino acid of the same thing with higher intensity inclination towards tritium. So now you understand that at the same time cartilage has no position not to be in a matter state and not to be in the emotional state. It's a connection, boundary connection only for a matter state inside the body of the man in connecting two different state of the intensity of the fields of a plasma. Then you come to the point to understand that there is a broom for the magnesium because in your brain the connection between the muscle tissue and the Physicality of the man is controlled by magnesium. Then you come to understand further, a cartilage is a combination of more or less emotional interaction with a physical dimension. So you need a CO2, but you don't need a copper. You need, in so many ways, no calcium in it too. Because magnesium in its position and interaction creates a condition for application and use of what it needs depending on the conversion of the system itself. So, if you produced, if you produced the system and then you use the amino acid of it what is it for you all use only one and i mentioned this many times you all use one type of salt and then you want to get results and we said even you go in the homeopathy they said there are 12 different types of salt and then every salinity of these salts even the ones we know has a different interaction reaction when is in the presence of the amino acid, because then he has to convert that amino acid to that specific structure cell. So, now you understand. People just take and do and add amino acids. This is what I said today. We need to add to the knowledge that is understood. We need to add to the knowledge that you understand what you are doing, not just to do because it's there and you've done. I keep on asking how many times, how many of you have tried different salts? Nobody, hardly any. But your body has different, you just, you are happy because there's a salt, you know sodium and you do it. Those of you who handle these things professionally, those of you who expect to see, you just change the salinity of the CO2 or zinc oxide, you can wipe out the cancer in no time. But if you use a, uh, this NACL, you might not get a result, because you have not understood the potential and the condition. A cancer cell in, in the body of the man is not produced just on its own. It means a new salt condition has 
been created, which brings in solidity. You've seen what you do. When you put a salt, ganses are produced and they're attracted. You, none of people, I've mentioned this many times, has even, even our doctors haven't considered this. They look for something, but if you have a certain salinity in a given environment and you haven't understood it, you cannot fight uh, a headache with uh, antibiotic. And this is exactly what a lot of do. You have to understand. Then it becomes much easier. Now that we are going into the dynamic systems, then for our doctors it becomes so easy to handle everything. Not only understanding of dynamic system, but understanding the salinity for what it is. There is a full history in the scientific research papers, what salts are where, in which part of the body, in what condition that we see more of. Then you make gans in that salinity. And then the amino acid of it has a very direct effect. This is what we say, the new systems getting produced in the Keshe Foundation Austria will cover all these things. So, so you can literally order, I want such and such amino acid, I want such and such a system for such and such a disease. You get the package, you put it on the system, you create and change the environment within hours, within days, <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Kesh. Hello. I think we last heard within hours and within days. I'm sure, Mr. Kesh will be back momentarily. Just send me a message that we have a problem due to Chinese regulations, exactly what you said. We can Hello. hear you, Kesh. Hello. Hello. See the microphone switching. Hello, can you hear me? Hi. Yes, hi, Mr. Kesh. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you Hello? Hear yeah, we can hear you. Hello? Hello, yes. So, what we understand from these systems is that um, we need to understand what we are doing. And sometimes discussion rooms like this is the best thing for us, that we understand more. And we need to understand more. And to be able to use the technology in its full capacity and capability, we need to, to understand more, to bring more knowledge in, to be able to diversify. Hello. <laughs> Telephone tag, we yes, call it. Can Hello. you hear me? Hello. Yes, I'm I think there's okay. an echo there. Do we have an echo? Um, Armin's microphone is still open. Armin, uh, Armin, Armin, Armin. That was better, now we can't hear you. Hello. Yes, I said the echo is finished, 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 finished. Okay, very good. Um, okay. Are you good now? Yeah, yeah. I'm always good. It <laughs> jumps up. Yeah. It says, I feel good. D -d 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 -d. Well, we just learned to segue back in. Where'd we leave off in the last uh, statement there? Yeah, he wanted to know about the amino acid. So mm -hmm. we finished. Try to divers diversify. And amino acids are exactly like a gans. You cannot use them, you cannot eat them. You can use this water, 
because it is itself a, a Gans state of matter. Okay, there's a question that comes up next, which is related. Uh, is there any difference between Gans water and plasma water? It's the same. We use two different names. We become very, already very sophisticated. We have two names of one thing. We are following the same trap of the other one. I call it the plasma water. Sometimes we call it the Gans water. But that's what it is. Is the purification of the water or filtration of the water using a given Gans, more or less, that water, but you do not consume the Gans. Water. 